हेलो एवरी वन गुड मॉर्निंग और गुड इवनिंग और वट एवर टाइम यू आर वॉचिंग द वीडियो सो गाइज इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू आस्क यू फ्यू क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम इंडियन पॉलिटी एंड आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो डोंट फॉरगेट टू मैंशन हाउ मेनी आंसर्स यू एग्जैक्टली न्यू ओके सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट्स जस्ट गेट इन टू आवर वीडियो The first question is the Indian federalism is based on the pattern of which country your options are USA Canada Australia or Germany so the constitution of india is federal in nature the concept of federal system in our constitution is inspired from the constitution of canada so the answer to this question is option number b canada the next question is rashtrapati bhavan was designed by your options are Edward Stone, Lee Carbonier, Edward Lutyens, or Tarun Dutt. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing these things wrong. Okay, let's come back to the question. So, Rashtrapati Bhavan is the official home of the President of India. It was designed by the British architect Edwin Lutyens. It was known as Viceroy House till 1950. So, the answer to this question is option number C, Edwin Lutyens. Next question is in India the power of judicial review is enjoyed by your options are the supreme court alone the supreme court as well as high court or all the court or none of the ever so first of all you should know what is judicial review the concept of judicial review in indian constitution has been adopted from the constitution of the united states judicial review is the power of the courts to examine the actions of the legislative executive and administrative arms of the government and to determine whether such actions are consistent with the constitution well the constitution of india confers the power of judicial review on the judiciary that is both the supreme court as well as high court so the answer to this question is option number b the supreme court as well as high courts the next question is mention the correct date of the last meeting of the constituent assembly options are 26th november 1949 5th december 1949 24th January 1950 or 25th January 1950 so the constituent assembly completed the task of drafting a constitution in 2 years 11 months and 18 days the last session that was 11th session was held on 26th November 1949 Apart from these 11 sessions the constituent assembly remet on 24th January 1950 when the members signed the constitution of India so the correct answer to this question is option number C 24th January 1950 the next question is the constitution was adopted by constituent assembly on i think this question might be confusing for some Okay let's see the options option number 1 is 15th august 1947 30th june 1949 26th november 1949 or 26th january 1950 i think you all would be confused between 26th november 1949 and 26th january 1950 well guys the correct answer to this question is 26th November 1949 the constitution was adopted and enacted by constituent assembly at its 11th session on 26th November 1949 and it was enforced or it came into effect from 26th January 1950 okay so the so the correct option to this question is option number C The next question is in which year was Jana Gana Mana adopted as the national anthem of India Well the constituent assembly accepted Jana Gana Mana as the national anthem of India on 24th January 1950 which was the last meeting of the constituent assembly of India So the correct option to this question is option number C 1950 The next question is who among the following decides whether a particular bill is a money bill Your options are president, prime minister, speaker of Lok Sabha or the cabinet. Under article 110 clause 3 
it has been specified that if any question arises whether a bill is a money bill or not the decision of the lok sabha speaker on this issue shall be final so the correct answer to this question is speaker of lok sabha the next question is the concept of welfare state is included in the constitution of india in the your options are directive principles of state policy fourth schedule of the constitution fundamental rights or the preamble of the constitution well the concept of a welfare state is included in the constitution of india in part 4 that is directive principles of state policy the next question is who among the following presidents exercised a power which is pocket veto options are dr rajendra prasad v v giri gyani jail singh or none of the above so till date pocket veto has been exercised only once in india by the president in 1986 by gyani jail singh on indian post office amendment bill so the answer to this question is option number c gyani jail singh the next question is who nominates the chairperson of the public accounts committee of indian parliament the options are the speaker of lok sabha the prime minister the president or the chairman of rajya sabha so the answer to this question is the speaker of lok sabha till 1966 67 the chairman belonged to the ruling party but for the first time the speaker appointed a member of the opposition as the chairman of the committee during 1967 68 so this practice has been continued since then So this was it in this video thank you for watching everyone